Everybody to do more and the corporations that do nothing. I'm pissed off that there is such inequality in a country that took me in when I was a child, has given me such opportunities and is denying it for others. This is happening! This is happening! Have you been out to the Occupy LA protest before? Once. The first weekend we came out. And what's your impression of it? I'm excited about it. I mean, we tear up actually. Yeah. Yeah. We tear up and lost. <laughs> But the camaraderie and the fact that people are worried about each other as opposed to the, the temperature in this country where it's been everyone's out for themselves. You cannot continue to have the wealthiest 1% take all the cream off the top. Why did you think it was important to bring out your son? Because uh, he got grounded this week. <laughs> this is, it's not a movement yet, but it's a moment. And it can, we're trying to make it a movement. There are doctors out there that really believe that the gap between the rich and poor as it continues to grow is um, dramatically affecting our health as a nation. You know, we want to heal America in part by reducing that gap between rich and poor. I'm going to Occidental College, but I'm working two jobs to pay for it. And I have so much to worry about, and all I should be worrying about is my education. I'm not American, I'm an international student here. Uh -huh. And I think it's really interesting that our perception of the Americans is that they're very passive. And here we are, and we see all these movements in all these American cities, and you Americans are active, and they're not just sitting there. such a small concentration of Americans controls such a large percentage of the wealth, inevitably people don't have jobs, can't pay back their student debt because they don't even have access to the system that is supposed to be the American dream. I am part of the 99% and I think we need a just distribution of, uh, of the wealth. I am here to not only represent educators and to represent students who are struggling in this economy, but everybody who has had their futures stolen from them by Wall Street.